Hey yo, LAZ, Slim Blunt Gang, Gen Pop Gang, Comment Gang in the building. I need y'all to tear this to shreds. I need like 87 comments on this in the first 20 minutes. You're a snow crab. Brownsville, Brooklyn. You heard Dykeman 200 block. We in the building like a janitor. You feel me in a smoke alarm. Make sure y'all dudes tap into that Patreon. Now I mean $10 a month for them banned from lives. You heard they getting real spicy. You already know if you love what, what I'm doing over here, man. Send me a cash app donation, man. You, you see this guy right here sent one. <sighs> I got some weird fans and supporters, man. I don't know, man. But uh, I'll take that dub, baby. I'll take that dub. Call me what you want to call me. But you won't call me broke with that good 20 cash. You heard? I'll take that, my lord. You heard? But yeah, man, send me a cash app donation if you feel what I'm doing on here. I don't care about none of y'all haters, man. Y'all know what y'all could do. You heard? Follow me on that gram. You heard? I'm trying to get to that 10 racks, baby. It's a long way, baby. But I'm trying to get to that 10 racks. You heard? Get at me. And yet, I do. I remember, dude, he was the, like the second or third. Leader dude, he was in my dorm, dude named Kyle So he was like, yo, Shadow, let me talk to you. And he started telling me, like, yo, bro, everybody you think is your brother ain't your brother. I'm like, what you talking about? So he told me. I ain't take his word for it. I was like, all right, cool. I'm going to put this shit to the test myself. But how you, how you ended up leaving, Green? All right, so... When, right after that shit happened where we, I went in the dude dorm, right, and woke him up out of his sleep. Like, we was like, yo, we good now, we cool. The Muslims, so, you know, like, when you young, motherfuckers respect the dude is wild or whatever the case. And I'm Muslim, too short Muslim, teacher Muslim, sham Muslim, and we was all wild, so the younger Muslim brothers, because remember, Green was a young population, so they looked up to it. And this, this dude, man, who was the imam at the time, I guess he felt like I was going to take the popularity and try to push him out of his position of power or whatever. But I wasn't stupid. I'm like, I'm, I wasn't trying to be nobody, man. But as a result of that, homie tried to get me hit, right? Your own Muslim and, brother? Yeah, man. Why well, he homie tried to get me hit. And they went to the Miyatas. But why? You, what you mean? Cause he just tried to get you hit because you fe he felt you was leading dudes too much and being too and and, have, and dudes was wanting to follow you and shit. Yeah, man, that's a big fact, yo. Did y'all have Did y'all have words about that? Nah, brother, we ain't no words, no nothing, man. It just like it was. I ain't gonna say that we never argued or nothing like that, but there was like little shit, like um. You know, he might say something like, yeah, you know, brothers be listening to brothers that ain't qualified or whatever the case. And this, you know, like, little stupid shit like that. Where he like, was from? I don't even know. His name was Shabazz. I remember his name was Shabazz, right? He was an older dude. He came from the from a max. He had, like, 15, 20 in or whatever, right? And, that is, you know, so the plan was that um they was going to have the yet guys hit, Right? But mind you, like I said, this is after that shit happened with the dude Choco. So they told me, the yet guys told me, right? Oh, now this this was the shit that bugged me out. When we, like I said, when we got there, the Latins had the, the, the compound under siege, right? Mm. They start backing up off the Muslims because of the shit that we was doing, right? Somehow the, the brothers got it in their mind that this was some them somehow then all of a sudden these dudes stopped leaving them alone because of something that they was doing when they was basically doing the same shit they've been doing right so out of respect the Nieta dudes the, i remember dude he was the, like the second or third leader dude he was in my dorm dude named Kyle. so he was like yo shadow let me talk to you and he started telling me like yo bro everybody you think is your brother ain't your brother i'm like what you talking about so he told me i ain't take his word for it i was like all right cool I'm gonna put this shit to the test myself. So on, I want to say Saturday mornings, they used to have the um, like the meetings for the security team and, and the leadership. So me, teacher, two short and sham, 
all went. And I'm like, yo, man, it was brought to my attention that um, you y'all supposed to have went to the yeah, guys and did X, Y, and Z, right? Boom. And they like, oh no, brother, we would never do that. Just, just, just we gonna conduct the investigation. I'm so, I'm like, nah, you don't need to conduct an investigation. I'm gonna conduct my own investigation. And if I find out who was behind this, they out of here, right? Now, it, I would never share the Muslim blood, right? Like that wasn't my thing. I, I was a firm believer that, you know, that, that's that's like a big sign of apostasy. But I knew the fear motivates people, right? And I knew that I let my reputation do the work for me. But I'm like, all right, cool. They think that I'm a wild dude and I can't think past go. So they gonna panic, like, yo, if you find out we did this, boom. So I'm like, if they guilty, they gonna offer somebody up as a sacrificial lamb. And that's what they did, right? They, I'm in the yard, they sent the dude bar, uh, um, it was just crazy because he was related to CO Bar on Rikers Island, right? And um, they see they sent him to me, and he's like, "Yeah, brother, we found out who was the one that went to the Niyatas. They picked a Caucasian Muslim brother who had just taken his shahada. He, there was no way. First of all, in Green at the time, like the politics." If you was just a, a, a foot soldier, you couldn't go talk to no leadership nowhere, right? Leaders spoke with leaders and so on and such like that. So they wouldn't even talk to this dude, right? That's number one. Number two, what was said to the Niyatas, that dude wouldn't have, he wouldn't have had the knowledge of Islam to say it like that, right? But they just threw him out there. He was a white dude. He was new. He didn't know what the hell was going on. They threw him out there. So I'm like, all right, cool. I told him, don't worry, we gonna handle it. Cause they was gonna hit the kid. I'm like, nah, don't, don't do nothing to that kid. We gonna handle it, you know what I mean? Boom, boom, boom. I said, but Joe, dig it. From this point on, y'all on your own, right? So, right after that, uh, something happened with the, the Niyatas and the Muslims, right? Now the Muslims come and they like, yo, bro, we need your help. I was like, yo, I told y'all on your own, man. So the fucking, the Niyatas and all them, they going at the Muslims. They send the dudes out to jail or whatever the case. You had some Muslims that was putting it down, right? Boom. And somehow, I got blamed for that shit, right? <laughs> they said that me, Too Short, um, Rashawn from Long Island, that we were sending hits on Latin dudes. They sent us three out of there, Chopo left out of there, the dude that was the head in the year thought. They sent some of the, like, it was a big fucking draft, homie, yo. I remember this shit like it was yesterday. I was in the yard. They closed the yard early. I was in my queue. The fucking um, sergeant and some CEOs came to my queue. They was like, yo, put your hands on top of the locker. They patted me down, told me to take a, um, a pair of underwears, a pair of socks, and a t-shirt. Boom. And put, the fucking bus was right outside the, the fucking dorm. <laughs> Word. They bust us down to the, um, to the new side. Put us in some building over there. It was a bunch of us in there. Then they just shipped us out of there. Burn. And for nothing. That shit, I found out later this shit was illegal when I got to Attica. Because uh, it was another dude there. It's not a king dude, as a matter of fact. He had got sent from a medium to Attica with no ticket. And when I had spoke to my... He had a lawsuit in for this shit. Right? And I had spoke to my counsel because my counsel was like, yo, I don't even know why you here. You don't have a ticket, nothing. They shouldn't have moved. My classification never changed. I wasn't supposed to be out of it, right? So, you know, I was you always- ever, You ever said something to the to the white Muslim dude? Nah, man, I let it rock. Because like I said, man, he, he didn't know what was going on, man. They That's foul. That's foul, though, that they, they, they blamed it on him. Yeah, man. Niggas would have got. But what you what you said they tried to do? They tried to have they tried to go to the Nietas to have a Nieta cut you or stab you? Yeah, that's what, that's exactly what they did, man. Did you find out for a fact that it was him, the the Muslim nigga that the I mean the one that was the imam. The rest of them dudes wouldn't have did that without his permission, man. They wouldn't have did that without his permission, man. So and like that whole shit. You would have had to be there, man. Like you, you, you know, there's a certain vibe motherfuckers give off when they expect something to happen and it don't happen, and then that little nervousness, like yo, what, why these dudes didn't do this or do? You can see it in their body language and how they interact with you. Let I me mean, try to fill you out to see if you know something that they hope you don't know. 
You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. But like I said, I wasn't trying to shed no more from blind. I just, I couldn't fuck with them dudes no more. Like, that was it. So after that, when you left that jail, did you, when you got to the next jail, did you met, did you fuck with Muslims again? With certain, in the, certain people, right? Like, I had determined I wasn't going to be part of a community, right? But I still had, you know, I had the thing in my heart or whatever the case, but I was still me. So certain Muslim brothers that I had already known, like when I got to Attica, Fraser was there, Fraser Muslim, Fraser from, from um, the Bronx and shit. And like I said in the, the other joint, me and him knew each other. So we was vibing. And somebody had said something about me going over to the Muslim table. I was like, nah, I ain't with it, man. Right? And Fraser had, told me, he was like, yo, bro, you still my brother, man. So I ain't gonna leave you out here by yourself. I'm like, I appreciate that. It was like him, another brother from the Bronx named Tyson, a brother named Jazz. Uh, I kind of feel like that was it. I, it might have been one or two other Muslim brothers I dealt with. I know there was a, a, a brother I used to work out with on occasion. But for the most part, that was it, man. Alright. I just, you know, I did me. But, um, yeah, man. Then from there, like I said, I went to Orleans. Orleans, when I first got there, again, the Latin King's supposed to be wanting to do something to me or whatever the case. Alright, so he, see, this is the thing, right? This is the part. Or the whole shit that they did may not get spoken about. So I'm gonna put it out here, right? So when I said that the little dude had came up to us with that, he's a, um the warlord of the Latin Kings, whatever. When they told us that there couldn't be any black gangs in the jail, we all decided Sam had been crypt in Chicago. He had crypt in Chicago, you know, obviously before he came to prison. So I was like, yo, homie, I want you to make all of us crypt right now, right? Oh, and we had our own little shit. We called it Seven One Eight Crips, right? Which was, you know, some 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 bogus shit. <laughs> but you talking about in green? In green? Yeah, in green, in green correctional facility, right? And we had, but we did it because we wanted to spite these dudes. You know what I mean, like, who the fuck are y'all to say there can't be any gangs, no black gangs in this fucking jail, right? We here, we stay here, we gonna be here, right? Oh, so that shit stuck though because um you know not knowing then about all that how in chicago they got the who ride the five and who ride the six thing going on so now it's out there i'm crib i get to uh and now you know there ain't no bloods in the state right now right so i get to um orleans and the latin kings is like oh that's the crypt dude that was doing that shit with the bros in green right boom mm. So that issue had to be addressed. Was, you know, dudes doing a lot of body bluffing, but nobody did nothing. You know what I mean? Boom. And what you mean? What you mean, body bluffing? Nah, you know, dudes looking at me crazy when I go on the mess on this shit. So I asked one of my men, I'm like, yo, who's the head of the Kings? He showed me the dude. I'm like, yo, tell homie come to the yard, right? Homie came to the yard or whatever the case. And I'm like, yo, bro, listen, man, this, this shit real simple, right? You a man, I'm a man. You got an issue with me? We can shoot it out right now, right? And just get this shit over with, right? But all of this, y'all looking at me like y'all gonna do something. I ain't, I ain't with that shit, man. Right? So if we gonna do something. Let's do it. Get it over. Oh no, bro. You know what I'm just saying? The shit that happened with my bros. I said the shit that happened with your bros. Happened with your bros, man. Right? I'm not apologizing for that. Shit happened. What's happening right now, though? That's what I want to know. Right? Nothing happened. I stay. I stay. <laughs> I stay. Oh, so. You know, it was that old shit there. But um, again, after that, I was cool. It was, I was there, right? And then when I was in Orleans, I started dealing with the Muslims again, right? But I'm like, yo, I had told Abu Bakr was the head of security. And I'm like, yo, bro, this is what I do, man, right? I'm not gonna never bring this in to, to the dean, to the, you know, to the mosque and no shit like that. Oh, but I'm not, if somebody asks me about it, I'm not gonna say I'm not that. Right? So he's like, all right, cool. He respected it or whatever the case. Right? So we, we fast forward a little bit. It's only two Crip dudes in the jail. Me and a dude named Grip that was from California. Right? And we keep seeing, now mind you, I don't know what's going on on Rikers Island with this blood thing. Right? What year I'm, you said this is? What year is this? This is um 93. 
no, no, not 93. This is 94. 94, 95. I got to Attica. I mean, I got to um, Orleans. 95. I got to Attica. 94. I was there for like six, seven months, and then from there I went to um to Orleans. So that was 95, right? So the only thing I know is that now Musk. So Musk and a couple other dudes was in Orleans. Matter of fact, it was Musk. It was Green Eye Shaw from um from Long Island, right? And a couple other dudes, they were saying they was blood, but I thought they was joking, right? Boom. So, cause they only said that shit in the door, right? So I was like, all right, whatever, right? Boom. Dudes kept coming to the jail and getting shot, right? And I'm like, damn, why the fuck they keep shooting these black dudes? Right, so motherfuckers just like, yo, they blood. So me, you know, I'm, I'm not thinking. I'm like, all right, maybe some bloods came out here from the West Coast and caught a charge and got locked up or some shit. But it, this shit kept going on. Like, it can't possibly be that many bloods got caught up in this thing out here. Some, some ain't right. They, this is some racial shit, right? So, um, me and the dude Grip, we went around to um individuals from the five percent Muslims and like neutral dudes that we knew like get busy and was like yo homie we gotta stop this shit man these motherfuckers are just shooting motherfuckers for no motherfucking reason man talk about some blood shit all these dudes can't possibly be blood again like I said I'm thinking they talk about blood from out west right so I'm like yo I need y'all bring that shit to the yard right we gonna have I'm gonna have the Lion Kings and them out in the yard and we gonna discuss this shit right Oh, so after that, once I got these dudes to agree, I went around to dudes that I suspected might be blood, right? And I'm like, yo, you blood? And dudes is like, why? I'm like, I'm asking, I wanna know. A lot of them dudes were saying no, right? About five dudes admitted to being blood. I'm like, all right, cool, yo, rip up, come out to the yard, we gonna address this shit. Boom, we went, we sat down, the heads from the kings and shit came over, spoke with us, and we like, yo, man, listen, this shit got to stop. This just seemed like some racial shit. If this shit keep going on, we're gonna start sending y'all out to jail too, man. Like this this ain't gonna be no one sided thing. Y'all not gonna be oppressing black dudes in this motherfucking jail, right? Boom. Motherfuckers squash the shit. Homie, like two days after that, there was a thousand fucking bloods in the jail. I'm like, fuck all you niggas came from, right? Boom. Some of these dudes I went to and asked them if they was blood, and they was like, nah. Right? So then um Sharky had came in and shot from Brownsville. He was a big homie and shit. And I'm telling him, like, yo, homie, these dudes right here is not official, man, because this, you know, I told him what happened, right? But, um, I tell you this, the dudes that I remember that stood up, it was a dude named Demo, who was either from Harlem or Bronx, he was from somewhere uptown, a dude named Sleepy, right? Um, it was Demo, Sleepy. I can't, it was another dude, he was a short dude, man. I can't think of this motherfucking name the same my life. But like I said, it was only about five of them came out to the yard with us, bro. right? And um, that right there is significant because when when I started going at it with the Bloods, that was part of the reason because I felt like they betrayed a trust. I stood up for y'all, right? And now y'all riding on my people like like this shit crazy, and y'all supposed to be about this brotherly love shit. Like what what happened to all that? You feel me? So, you know, that already had me have animosity in my heart toward these dudes. So, um, I start going at them. Stop going to war with the kings, start going to war with the bloods. Huh? You talking about in Orleans? Nah, I'm talking about when I left Orleans. I had left Orleans, uh, so diggy. So, I was there, it was me. This, this is, I left in 1998. Right? Fucking um me, little Spady, and um I can't there's me, little Spady, a dude named Unique, I think his name was, but he really wasn't involved. He was going home that day. He got caught up in the crossfire, right? And the other dude I, I can't remember his name, right? We we was in the mess hall and we saw the police take the dude out the side door, right? So when we come out they jumping on dude, right? 
Yo, homie, so now it's a gang of us standing there telling, yo, get up off, dude, or whatever the case. Police still beating on telling us, telling us mind our business. So we start walking toward the police. By the time we got across the grass to where the police was, it was just me in his face. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck happened to everybody else. <laughs> right, boom. So we, you know, we already committed. We just started walking, so that you gotta get busy. You feel me? Yo, we jump into this shit trying to help this dude, right? Go to the box and all that. They tried to give us new charges for that shit, and the dude we went, to, we found out later that they told dude that they would take his day from him if he didn't say that we attacked the police without cause, right? Hmm. So like they was gonna use that shit to give us charges for assaulting them. And like I said, the dude unique, his thing was either like unique or understanding something. Like one of them, he was on his way home. He just happened to be crossing through when the shit kicked off. Cause in Orleans, um, you had to take your stuff to the state shop and the state shop was right next to the mess hall. So when the shit kicked off, he's walking past to go to the state shop. So when the police put everybody on the floor, he just happened to be there. And they took him to the box too. They took a homie date and everything. Hmm. Right? But yeah, man, but that was how I left Orleans. Right? I left Orleans, boom. And um from Orleans, I went to I went to the box. We opened up up not upstate box. Um the, the shit at the the shot camp, right? What the fuck is shot camp? That oh, Lake, Lake View? Yeah, Lakeview box. Right? We opened up Lakeview box. I left. I got a time cut for the ticket in the box. They let me out. I went to um to Marcy. Right? I was in Marcy chilling. I was getting ready to go to the parole board and then one of my bandits came in. Right? So I had seen homie or whatever. Like when he I knew he was on his way there because um what you call that? Oneida was the hub reception for that hub, right? It's um, Oneida, it was, because Oneida is closed now, but it was Oneida, Mid-State, Marcy, and Mohawk, right? You would go to Oneida first, and then you would either stay there or go to one of those other three jails, right? So a dude named Rod knew had came from um, Oneida and was like, yo, your bandit is over there, he might be coming here. I'm like, all right, cool, if he come, that's, you know, it's whatever. So homie came, and um, he was telling dudes like, yo, man, basically he was saying he didn't want an issue, right? I'm like, all right, cool. Dudes had already told me he had a rug cutter. I'm like, all right, he can't be here armed up, though. So tell him to send that rug cutter outside. You said he was a bandit from where? From the islands. All right, so dig it. If you remember last time we spoke, I had talked about the shit that happened in Mar 9 with me trying in cash, right? Yeah. It was dude, uh, uh, who partook in that, the dude that had swung on cash, right? I had cut him later. He was going, he was either coming, he was going to the visit or coming off the visit, but they had me in China in that Wyoming pen right there by the infirmary, right? So when homie came down, I started talking to him and shit. And this motherfucker had the audacity to like lean up on the bars, talking to me like real comfortable. So. I shot his motherfucking ass. <laughs> oh, so you know, uh, um, obviously he wasn't going to do that. And then there was a couple other incidences in between that and us running into each other up north, right? And I was getting the better of him. So you know, Max, I was figuring he would want to do something, right? So now we in um, Marcy. He was getting ready to go to the parole board too. So, and I'm getting ready to go to the parole board. I'm like, all right, cool. Maybe this motherfucker really don't want an issue. So when I told him to send the gun outside and it's cool, I always felt like that was a mistake on my part because the shadow on Rikers Island would have never said that. It would have just been smoke. I just like, yeah, he can't stay here. He got to sign in or I'm gonna send him out of here, right? I would have never gave him a chance. He gave him a chance, right? Boom. So now he's a gangster. Oh, yo, send this nigga this boom, boom. I'm like, all right, cool, fuck it. Right? Come to the yard. He came out to the yard. I blew his motherfucking head off. Right? The motherfucker press charges on me, man. Right? Press charges, dog. Right? So that's why I said I made a mistake. That's why I said I made a mistake. 
do press charges. I tried to call him to my T hearing uh, as my witness to say it wasn't me. And this motherfucker told the police, and the police showed me his statements like, yo, is he crazy? You see what he did to my face? He think I'm gonna come down there and say he didn't do it? He getting tongue. Fuck that. Like, that was his thing. I could hear him screaming this shit, because the box wasn't but so big. You know, he got cut, they got him involved on one side of the, um, the boxing mask. I'm in the other side. I hear this dude screaming and shit. I'm like, yo, I can't believe this shit, man. Right? Dude press charges on me, man. But it's only by the grace of God that y'all got around that shit, man. You know? But that's that, that's the tone. Dude, that's what dudes is doing. Dudes is supposed to be tough doing shit like that. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. Except from there. I went to the burn, I went to the box, came out the box, went to the burn, right? And that's when all this shit with me and the bloods really start kicking off, right? You can hit me up yesterday. I'm just letting y'all know this is how real it is. A nigga hit me up yesterday on my text number, my text free number that I put out on YouTube. Talk about, yo, this lad, I think I was up north with you, boom, boom, boom. So I'm like, yeah, word, we're jail, this and that. I'm falling for the dumb shit, like, word. So boom, the nigga like, the nigga like, yeah, man, you know what I mean? Yeah, I just came home from jail and I need a plug. I need a plug for that heroin, that heroin and that coke. And I heard you to, I heard you to connect. Know what I mean? Like, Nick, who, who knows who this is? It could be a nigga trying to get out the feds. It could be anything. You feel what I'm saying? So you know what I did? I responded with a good Frank picture. There you go, cocksucker. You want to play with me with police and 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 be a, and try to line a nigga? Even if you just playing. Even if you on my phone just playing. Hold that meat, my nigga. Like I told you, we used to call that shit meet it. Like if a nigga is a super hater and a nigga keeps stalking you and hitting your DM, I meet a nigga. You, that's how you stop a nigga from messaging you. You want to message me crazy shit? I'll show you the motherfucking snorsage, nigga. You heard? So somebody texted me talking about, yo, I heard you to connect for the heroin and, and, the, and, the, and the Fetty Wap. Is that true? I said, yo, you the plug for the Fetty? I said, yeah, I got him. I said, yo, I said, yo, now I'm going to give you the plug right now. I said, I'm going to give you the plug right now. Bongo! That's the plug, cocksucker. Then you know a nigga try to say some shit like, yo, you gay? Yeah, whatever, nigga. I'm gay, but you the one over there staring at dick, not me.